And you want to realize that you actually have the power now as a grown up to say yes. So introverts, we are roughly 50% of the population. I jokingly say my new Myers-Briggs is FFI. I'm a friendly, functional introvert, which means I'm friendly, but the functional part is key. I can walk up to anybody at any conference, at any event, and I typically start out with my two magic words. Tell me. Tell me what brought you to the conference. Tell me where you're from when you're not at the conference. If someone's on their phone and they're looking kind of, you know, committed to that, I say, gee, tell me your favorite app on that phone because I'm always looking for new apps. So part of it is finding ways for you to realize that the other person may not feel as comfortable as you are. Jennifer Jenkins, I used to live in Montgomery, Alabama, have to do a quick shout out. I went to AUM and my dad taught at Maxwell Air Force Base. Um, sorry, I'll go back to my talk. Um, I just don't see a lot of people from Montgomery, so it's nice to see that. Um, so embrace your inter introvert, but accept the fact that if you are hiding in a corner, you come across looking as unfriendly, unprofessional, and really kind of like, why are you there? So a tip I'll share with you at any networking event, I always talk to people who are all by themselves. They're miserable. They're unhappy. Go say hello and start out with that tell me question. So um, now we're going to go into the next. We talked about defining networking. We talked about introverts. And now we're going to talk about action. You actually have to go and say hello to people. I mentioned early that I'm going to invite you to take a look at the conference <clears throat> agenda and see who are some speakers that you would like to meet ahead of time. Go say hello to them on Facebook or LinkedIn. My platform of preference is on LinkedIn. I like Facebook. It's just not where in my world as many people are. If that's your world, go for it. Instagram, whatever it might be, go to the platform. But go to the platform where you think they are and say, I'm really looking forward to hearing you speak in Nashville. I wanted to introduce myself in advance. And here's a little tip. Say, is there a question you would like me to ask during the Q&A? A speaker speaks. They have their great contact inf contact content information. And then they say, hey, any questions? It's silence. It's miserable. And the speaker's like, did I do anything wrong? Is my fly down? So ask the first question. It's really, really a great way for you to say, hey, I'm willing to be visible. And particularly the first question, you break the ice. I have met so many people. I asked Billie Jean King a question. I was the first person, and some of you may not know who she is, but look her up. Remarkable person. I asked the CEO of Raytheon. I've been in all kinds of venues, and I've been willing to have the first question. The conference organizer looks at me and says, thank you for asking the first question. 